Hello friends, welcome back to my new channel, O'Neill's Aquascaping and this is O'Neill. Firstly, I'd like to thank you all for your wonderful support for my first video which I'd uploaded like two days ago. It was about uh, beginner Zen Aquascape, the link you can find in the description. I started aquascaping as my hobby around a month and a half and wanted to share my learnings, my experience and my journey for all the new beginners out there, reason being I really found this hobby very interesting and satisfying because it was a perfect timing being at home during this current situation, exploring myself as a hobbyist. And I really apologize for the poor quality of the audio and the video as I'm just using a basic mobile phone and a headset. Please hit the like, share and subscribe button to help encourage me to upload such more videos. As I did mention, it's been around like 45 days. I started escaping and all went well however I could see some algae growing on some of my slow growing plants like Ludwigia white, Bacopa salzmani. I went on the internet, did some research, read about Seekim Excel Flourish being used to treat algae, thought I could be making a video as a review in two parts as it, and see if it really works. So let's go on with it. What is Seekim Flourish Excel? Seekim Flourish XL is an additive for planted aquariums that is an alternative to gaseous CO2 injection. It is a liquid that you add to your aquarium daily that becomes a carbon source for your plants. But there are limits to how effective this alternative source of carbon is. Now let's talk about what is spot dosing. Spot dosing could be done using a syringe or a pipette. I thought syringe would be much easily available with pharmacists. So, usually I dose around like 2-3 to 3 ml per day spraying or dosing Flourish XL. To be very honest, uh, within a week use of Flourish XL, I did see some algae covered leaves recovered and the growth of the plant has also increased way beyond I had expected. Here I'd like to show you guys a picture of my Ludwigia white being covered with algae and it was slowing down the growth of the plant and I could see the leaves all melting away so I had to do something about it so let's see how does it work I'd really like to request you all to watch the video till the end as I'm planning to get the regular maintenance done and uh, I'd like to show a time lapse on the same video and I'm very much open for a feedback suggestions for things that I might be doing wrong as I mentioned I'm just a beginner so see you around so while we're doing this, I'd like to share how I got into aquascaping. Search results on Google defines aquascaping as the craft of arranging aquatic plants as well as rocks, stones or driftwood in an aesthetically pleasing manner within an aquarium. In effect, gardening underwater. Makes sense, right? So my story goes like this. I have been keeping a freshwater aquarium since my childhood and mostly goldfishes in it did try planting a couple of times, all got destroyed by my lovely fishes. That got me moving towards planted tanks with neon tetras and that's how here I am. So guys, I've had like 4 weeks of dry start followed by 2 weeks of flooding. Plants that I've carpeted in the front on the foreground would be Monte Carlo, the Reineke in the middle, Reineke mini pink and some Rotalas on the left side and I'm just trying to grow. I've just got a few stems of Ludwigia white and Bacoma salzmani. That's what is actually infected with algae. And I really don't want to lose them. I mean, that's what we are for, right? To keep this escape algae free. Thanks to Seekim Flourish Excel. Let's see. I mean, I'll definitely be showcasing the results in my part 2 video, which I'll be uploading soon. The livestock in the tank would be some neon tetras I really love their blue their electric blue running from their mouth till the tail then some rosy barbs some amano shrimps and some assassin snails I'm sure you many of you guys would have some feedback opinion I mean someone would like it someone would like to share it I I honestly would like to mention that I'm very much open for feedback or opinions I mean, definitely it would help me a lot. So, please go ahead, 
let me know in the comment section what could be done to make it more better so right now what i'm trying to do is i'm removing all the cuttings and trying to scrape off all the algae over the walls which is not done by my cleaning crew by the way i just happened to notice some scratches on the front glass of the aquarium guys i'm really sorry i i just noticed it right now and i did try to remove it using the toothpaste as in one of my friends suggested that i think so the scratches are inside so it's it's really not possible to use toothpaste so i'll just leave it with for now and probably i'll be getting a bigger tank soon so i would get a better one for sure so right now we're done with the cleaning we're just trying to remove the water and as you can see the water level could be going down and the lights changing and here i refill it again so there are here's the clean tank i mean after refilling i hope most of it is done so as i mentioned this apt3 fertilizer that i've been using it's really helped me and also the products that i use is the seekim clarity seekim prime so i have actually attached some clips of my aquascape after the maintenance done i would request if you could please have a look and let me know if i could do something better and i'm very much open for feedback as i mentioned earlier and this would be my Seekim Flourish XL Does It Work Part 1. Soon I'll be coming up with a Part 2 video sharing my review about Seekim Flourish XL if it really does work. Thank you guys for watching the full video. Please share, like and subscribe for more such videos. Bye bye.